In this second video about my time in Ipo, I'm going to focus on Orangutan Island and a couple highlights that I had meal-wise. And what I hope you'll take away from this video is how amazing some of the culture is. And in Orangutan Island in particular, note that they really need visitors and funding. So if you are in Ipo, please go here, if not just for the amazing orangutans, but to support the work they do. And I will post a link to their site below. I somehow lucked out and was literally the only tourist on the island at the time I went. You do need to make a reservation to go uh, or or Typically, there shouldn't be just one tourist. I think it was because it was Ramadan. But anyway, I was really lucky. And I'm going to leave the sound on for the guide who walked me through. I know it's a bit low. Please pardon the uh, low audio quality. But uh, she gives such good information about the sanctuary, about their work, and about the orangutan. So I hope you'll listen in and then enjoy the interview with the uh, amazing Hakka restaurant I ate in and what the Hakka people are all about. Hi. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. We can feel the uh, humidity. Madam, it's very high. <laughs> Ming Sriri, uh, they have about half of this island. Belongs to them about 15 acres, yeah? So with the help of the ranger, if we are lucky, then we can meet many orangutan for our tree. Okay, great. If we are not very lucky, maybe just a few We'd of We'd be them. very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so at this moment, in total, we only have 15 orangutan on this island. Wow. Uh, that's um, good because that means because i thought that how do you find them are they they uh, okay they're all hurt? of them they have different backgrounds some of them they were born here because we also have our breeding program yeah okay and some of them of course we rescue them from uh people house yeah um, people's houses yeah, from the wild yeah um, because they've been uh, kept as a pet oh. Yeah? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh so okay i think this is quite a good start because oh. the ranger managed to call this couple here oh my goodness so they are the oldest couple that we have on this island oh and of course he is our alpha male the oldest and the biggest orangutan here his name is wow. bj bj this year is 37 years old oh my gosh together with his wife abu she's 36 years old oh my goodness <laughs> and at the back there we have afro and chacha so chacha is eight years old yeah and afro she's 14. <laughs> oh. so bj he's been rescued from the wild when got your habitat you know so we him when he was around 30 something and then we kind of estimate the age, yes? Do you want to Oh. So he wants some. Some. Oh. So if this couple are here, then the rest of them they prefer to keep their distance. Yes. Oh, why? Because both of them they are oh. quite grumpy. Oh, old and grumpy. Yeah, so <laughs> they have to make sure that this couple they are ve in very good mood. Then only they will come please. But our Utan favorite food actually is durian. Really? We don't have durian now. Oh. Yeah. I mean, not just here, but also in Borneo really? and Sumatra, yes. All of them, they love durian. Durian is like their favorite food. Ah, <laughs> but, and you're, you don't uh, have rules that no, there's no durian fruit because it smells. Oh, no. Because here, we don't have any air, air conditioner, you know, like, uh, um, you cannot bring durian into hotels, uh, hotels yeah. taxi, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so cute. <laughs> smart, yes. yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Usually when I call them, I don't have anything. So, so they don't uh, really respond to me, but they are respond better um, to the ranger. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at her. She's gorgeous. She is. She is amazing, mother. She's very protective, mother. Oh. And usually the female, she will reject other 
baby, you know, as a female baby. But here, she's willing to look after Chacha. Okay. Because Chacha, actually, he was uh, rescued when he was just a few weeks old. Okay. Yeah, so we have two options whether we can, uh, we are the one who look after him inside our nursery, you know, and me and we, and maybe we try our best to try to give the young girl stronger, yes. And also we want to keep him, to keep this couple here as a parent and also the adult couple on this island, I don't know, because okay. we don't have, I mean, they are the oldest one here. And this Abun also, she will not make it if she uh, go back to the wild because she was very domesticated before. Uh, okay. Yes, and of course, again, we need her. Yeah. Are they speak Malaysian? <laughs> I think not the um, language, madam, because before pandemic, we have so many, we had so many volunteers. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think he's trying to get something that's outside the way. Oh. What's this? Are you up to mischief? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> dear. Now I I have <laughs> apple. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't want to share. Uh, mm. uh. Oh, he did share. Yes, one bite. Uh. <laughs> <So> now, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What adorable faces. Yeah, they're old. Okay. Yeah, also by Fusa. Uh oh. Is they gonna are they gonna have a fight? Uh, uh no. I think uh BJ he is in very good mood. So now Cha Cha wants to play with him. Oh, oh. Uh, see? Yes. Because Cha Cha uh he has the same behavior yeah. with PJ, even though he is his adopted son. Compared to Manu, the oh other one, he is more. Um, oh, oh, see? Oh, he is oh, very oh, aggressive, oh he's very cute, God. very sweet, but this one is oh. very, very. Oh. I'm exactly like BJ. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh. Before we, we have very nice shelter. Oh, oh, he's oh he's getting up there. Oh, you know, madam, before we have a roof. Yeah. You know, but BJ, he's a, he didn't like it, so he pulled it down. So now I, I know what he is trying to do. You know, it's easy for them to 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 what we call to to swing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> to <Wow. hang. laughs> Oh, look oh, at that. And the brother wants to join them. Well, now it looks like they're having a meeting. Yeah. Uh-oh, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> so they're just playing. Pin down. Uh, 
he looks different okay <laughs> this is okay he's just playing with his children if he's angry then he will i mean like he will make um different sound okay that's very scary Like just morning, in case the children, you know, don't come near me. Yes. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't for her. disturb me. Because mom is tired. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. <laughs> sunflower seed. Oh. And she know like uh, I cannot get any sunflower seed inside the jungle. Yeah. So I can get from this boy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Up. Oh, and he's off. <laughs> because he doesn't want to share with the big one. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's Mama. That's Mama, yeah. Mama's gonna. Good for you, Mama. You take that and you keep it for yourself. <laughs> um, no, actually, it's the same one. <laughs> wow. And here we do have some picture of our previous uh, baby who used to be here. You know I'm leaving, so you're so you're coming to say goodbye. Thank yes. you. Oh. Oh, look what fun you're having. Oh my gosh. Bye. You got it. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Taiping is fairly close to the town where you get the boat for the orangutan sanctuary, and. It is beautiful, and I believe it's named for these big trees. Also, it's although Malaysia is really inexpensive, Taiping is even less expensive when it comes to accommodation, and it's full of nature, very peaceful, and a place I will definitely look to return and stay for a few days when I go back to Malaysia. This museum gives an amazing overview of the Hakka people and the tin industry in Malaysia. Tin ingots to be exported out. And down here you see all these bottles, each bottle inside containing different type of mineral. Because in the ground you don't really get tin. You get other minerals as well, like ilmonite, zircon, magnetite, rutal. And those days on the top shelf you see all this canned food mm. since 1810. Inside the canned food were coated with tin because tin can prevent rust. Now second shelf, these are all filters, filters mm. basically for decorative items. Above 90% of the contents inside the filters contains tin. So we can say filters are tin actually. Mm. Third shelf, we have some kitchen items and some toys made of tin. And the bottom shelf, these are tin sheets used in the mechanical industry. Tin tumbler, wash, pick up the tin ore, and then all the waste will be channeled to the other side of the land. So we have three buckets of waste here. We have no more stock of tin concentrate. The color, the dinner for the family. Our guide told me to check out this coffee shop and a restaurant, and you'll see I was the only non-Asian person here for quite some time. It was a wonderful shop, great coffee, and great egg custard. I then walked to the restaurant recommended by my guide, and I'm on my way now to try Hakka cuisine for the first time. And on my way, I found some amazing street art. The Hakka restaurant, the food was delicious, it was beautiful, and I got to speak with the owners and learn a lot about it. So upstairs is for tea, okay. Oh, beautiful. This is Olivia. Hi. <laughs> I'm at the Greenfield Hakka restaurant in Ipo, which I found out about because with the name of the museum, the full name, the pet Han Chin Petsu. Han Chin Petsu um, is where I learned about the Hakka people and they told me to come to this restaurant to experience the Hakka cuisine, and it is delicious. So I'm gonna have Olivia tell us a little bit about the history of the Hakka people and the cuisine here and how that all fits together. <laughs> yeah, so Hakka people, Hakka, means that they are guests to everywhere, and so that they mix everywhere their home, so it's called Hakka people. Like nomads, so Hakka very much like nomads, so yes. it's kind of cool. <laughs> 
So from China, right? All from China? All from China. That came here because of the tin mining? Yes, okay. because of the tin mining. So because that we are home to everywhere, so uh, a lot of food, Hakka food is preserved. So they make it salty so that they can preserve the flavor and then to enhance the flavor of their food. That's why our Hakka food is mostly salty and we would have a lot of pork dishes. Mm, yes. Because uh, we would egg, kill them already, slaughter them, and then make it freezer into that food, and then bring it together with us so that it's called Hakka food. A lot so of pork. pork, pork with salt stays well, and so the Hakka would travel with the food. Um, yes. And okay, got it. And okay. then, but in Greenfield Hakka restaurant, because we are uh, our. We, our motto is to bring uh, Hakka food, healthy Hakka food into other uh, people's to introduce healthy Hakka food to Ipo people. So our food is less salty, less oily, but brings up the flavor of the food itself. So it's the same kind of dishes that the Hakka people would make, but, but they don't need to preserve it anymore, so yes. it doesn't oh. have as much salt. Yes. Okay, so uh, we do have this Hakka food here. Like we flat salty, so it also brings back the memory of the old Chinese Hakka people. So when they come here, they feel like they are at home because of their traditional home uh, home cooked food. Mm. is um, is rarely home cooked Hakka food is actually rarely found outside. Yeah, I've never heard of it before yes. today. <laughs> so they it makes them feel like they're coming back to home and brings back the memories also because of our designs and all the interior. Decorations, huh? Yeah. So, and I had the pork, uh, pork belly, pork belly steamed with yam, yam, and yeah. then the tofu stuffed with Stuff pork. With meat, meat, with meat, meat. Okay. Yeah. Which both of which were delicious. Yes. I've never tasted anything yeah. like either. I love them. And then the drink was um, uh, summer love mocktail. It's actually made with sprite and then with passion fruit, lime, honey, and lemon. Mm. You heard that mocktail. Not that I don't drink, but <laughs> it's too hot here to have alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Olivia, thank you so much. Is there, um, how do people find you? Um, uh, we have our Facebook page, it's called Greenfield Hakka Restaurant. Okay, I'll put that in the description below. Yes, okay. and we have our Instagram as well, and uh, you can find us on Google Map also. Okay, right here in the center of Ipo. So if you're in Ipo, come here. It's great. You'll meet Olivia, you meet her mom and dad, or your too. It's a family <laughs> restaurant. And it's also beautiful. Just a quick, um, this is the upstairs, the... Uh, so upstairs is tea related team okay. and downstairs is Chinese wedding ceremony related team. So downstairs is all red and upstairs have the 40s to 60s era Malaysia Chinese white. Beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> see ya. This is the downstairs used for weddings and you'll also see the front of the restaurant and as you can see, Ipo is an amazing place. I highly recommend going, spend a few days and really get to know everything it has to offer inside and around it.